This is the brief on the ISLM model and fiscal expansion. So what actually happens when a government cuts taxes while the economy is already running at full employment? First, there's the initial shift. Lower taxes mean more disposable income, right? So people spend more. This spike in demand shifts the IS curve to the right, and pretty soon the economy is overheating with way more demand than it can handle. Second, the market adjusts with inflation. See, with all that excess demand, prices start to rise. This reduces the real money supply and forces the LM curve to shift left. The whole process brings the economy back to full employment, but, and this is key, at a much higher interest rate. And finally, this leads to the crowding out effect. While consumption definitely went up, those higher interest rates meant investment dropped by the exact same amount. So any growth in consumption came entirely at the expense of investment. National savings also took a hit. So to recap, a tax cut at full employment gets you higher interest rates and consumption, but it lowers investment and national savings, leaving total output exactly where it started. It's a stark reminder, isn't it? At full employment, you can't boost today's consumption without stealing from tomorrow's investment.